cautious on where you stay to sleep. This is the topic for the day. It's your boy TC with Grim Reaper Transport. Uh, just like I was saying previously, today we're going to talk about being aware and cautious of where you sleep while having a camper, while transporting a camper. Uh, the reason why I say this is because I saw somebody on YouTube uh, a couple of days ago and they were a hot shotter. I'm not trying to burn them or nothing, but uh, that should have been something I talked, I should have spoke on before. Um, there are different locations in the United States where you literally do not want to park your truck and go in a hotel and sleep due to the fact that crime rate is so high with vehicle break-ins and vehicle thefts. Dallas is one of them. Uh, I know sometimes you guys, we go on the road for a long period of time and you want to stretch your legs, but me, Personally, I try not to stay in a hotel until after I drop my camper or travel trailer or fifth wheel, whatever. For hot shots, same thing. I, I typically would, if I was a hot shot, I wouldn't be sleeping in a hotel until after I delivered my load. But in this case, this hot shotter, he, his load wasn't disturbed. He was he was he was blessed. He, he hey, that was the good part. Bad part was somebody broke his windshield, and he had nothing in the truck. Not his windshield, but they broke his uh his his door window, and stole and stole stole basically nothing because he said there was nothing of value in the truck. He took everything in the room with him. Well, for you guys out in the RV world. In this RV industry, transport industry, I would advise against staying in a hotel while you're transporting, unless, this is just me, if I really gotta stretch my legs and I really need to stay in a hotel, I will stay in a hotel where the doors of the hotel are actually facing outside and I can, I can be on the bottom floor and I could park my truck and trailer right in front of my room so I could hear if anything happened. That's what I would do. But going into the Hilton, the Marriott's, the NBC Suites, all of this stuff, and you just trying to live that lavish life, lavish life, when When you're en route to deliver, I wouldn't do. You also gotta re you also gotta remember that that travel trailer has equipment in it, merchandise that can be stolen. A lot of you a lot of you might be saying, "Oh man, I sleep light. I I, could, I get up and check on it every once in a while." No. When you're tired, you're tired. Your body shuts down. You might say you're going to get up at a certain time, or you, you might get up once or twice during the night, but you ain't going to want to get out of bed. It's hard to do. It's very hard to do. Uh, so, 
So don't bet on that. Make your delivery. If you can't find a hotel with the, door, the doors on the outside where you can park in front, you can park in front of your door, be able to monitor your truck and the, and the, uh, and the camper, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get a hotel. I sleep in my truck. I go to a truck stop, a rest area, park, sleep in my truck. I got a bed back there. Every, every RV transporter, no matter what, unless you're six five, <laughs> you should have a bed in your truck. Take out your back seats. You don't want to take out your back seats. Build your platform with the back seat still back there. Put your mattress in. It's a lot. It's a lot of videos here on YouTube telling you how to set your truck up. Do it. These are the reasons why we do this is because it's to avoid uh, things like that. Somebody breaking in your truck when um when you're in a hotel room. Now, if you really want to know the hot spots of where vehicles are being broken into, get online, Google search it. Uh, if you had a truck stop right now, ask a bunch of truck stop, uh, but, uh, ask, ask any truck driver that have been on the road longer than 10 years, what are the hot spots where you don't want to sit because people are breaking into your, into your trailer to try to steal your cargo? They'll tell you. Uh, from when I last drove trucks, it was Dallas, it was Miami, it was Chicago, uh, in the city of uh, New York itself, uh, LA was one, Vegas was the other. There were some more, but I can't remember all, but those are all the ones I can remember on top of my head. So I know when I go to these areas, no, I ain't gonna. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna uh, park my truck and go in the hotel and stay tonight. No. Only time I'm gonna actually park my truck and stay in the hotel if it it's if I got caught in a blizzard and it ain't lifting for another two three days. Yeah, I'm gonna get a hotel. Advise dispatch. That's what I'm doing. Can't sleep in my can't sleep in my truck for three days because it's too cramped. I got to stretch out. Can't sit in the truck while it's snowing and you in a blizzard. They not gonna tell you get out the truck and go walk around just to stretch your legs because that's ridiculous. You trying not to freeze to death, so you need to get a hotel. But you have to be a smart about what you do and how you do. Me, myself, if that's the case and I'm in a bad area and I have to get a hotel, yes, I'm gonna I'm find out where the room at they want me, uh, that the front desk is gonna give me. I'm gonna run up to the room right quick, look out at the parking lot, at the surroundings, see where can I park my truck and see my truck. Boom, all right, now, here's the other part. Stand by. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm back. Uh, nah, that was one of my guys I used to... Uh, not one of my guys, but... That was one of the guys that I used to drive with at the, at the other company I was with, Synergy. Uh, we are just chopping it up a little bit. But uh, back to the warning part. Hmm. Please be more aware of your location... And of the theft in the area where you decide you want to uh, get your hotel at while you're under a load. Like I said, me typically, I wouldn't get one unless it was dang near necessary. Like I said, if it was a blizzard. I know I'm gonna be stuck for about two, three days. Yeah, I'm gonna get one. Cause I don't wanna sit in my truck all cooped up. Can't really stretch out. And then I gotta get all geared up just to get outside to walk around to get circulation on my legs. I don't wanna do that. 
that's the only other time that I will actually jump in the hotel while under my load. Uh, Uh, I try to stay close to my I, I'm not going to lie to you I try to stay close to my loads uh, It's just like when I was driving trucks I have to stay close to my cargo Until I get rid of it Because you, you have to remember You are Responsible for that load Until it's delivered So anything happening to that load While it's in your custody then it's your responsibility, meaning it's coming out of your bond money. That's your bond money. It's over. Now you got to start this all over again. Now, if it was something, you know, they're going to investigate, see what's what, what happened, how it happened, and if it was your fault that you could have prevented it, it's more than like, it's a possibility. I ain't going to say more than likely, but it's a slight possibility you lose your bond money and you might lose your job. So, use your head. That's all I'm saying. Use your head. Uh, check out the areas where you're trying to trying to spend the night. If you're gonna spend the night, stay on the bottom floor. Make sure the entrance to your hotel room is on the outside of the hotel, not one of them enclosed. That's all I'm saying. Be careful. I don't. I know a lot of you uh, is getting into this industry trying to make an income a good income and it is it's a good income as long as you are using your head you're spending your money right you're spending it wisely you're putting money up you're running like you're supposed to run it's a good industry so I'm not knocking anybody I'm just trying to keep you in the know so you can keep money in your pocket and it, it ain't no unnecessary money because somebody breaking in your truck that's the one that you gotta pay for depending on what year, make, model you have you can pay anywhere from 100 to $500 for a window out of your pocket somebody breaking your camper still stove tops, the cook tops the TVs, whatever out of it it's coming out of your bond money. Now you got to build your bond money back up. And we know just like everyday people, when people, when folks file a claim, they always jack up the value on whatever was stolen. Your bond ain't but $1,500. But they filed a claim saying what they had in there was worth three, four thousand dollars so the company's out of money coming out of pocket and you coming out of pocket that's not good so that's basically all I wanted to cover with you guys today something short sweet uh, I saw the video a few days ago and I said I'm going to go ahead and post because a lot of people don't think that way so that's it once again thanks for watching like, subscribe share I mean, guys, girls, please share my video. All of this is about knowledge, passing on what I know, what I experience, and what I think, my opinion. <laughs> Might not be worth much, but it can save you some money in the long run. But share my videos, share my videos with everybody you know. Share, share, share. Like and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, you have any questions? Shoot me an email. My email is always below. Um, watch the rest of my videos. I always post a link to my videos as well. So watch my videos. If you have any questions, comments, send me an email. i get back with you. Or I'll post a video about it. Either way it go. You will get your answer. This is your boy TC with Grim Reaper Trucking. Ooh, I say trucking. Man, I'm trying to talk big trucks into existence. I'm not trying to go back to a big truck. <laughs> I want to stay in my pickup. <laughs> this is your boy TC with Grim, Re Grim Reaper Transport. The road is grim. I collect the money that it that it provides you. No ifs, ands, buts about it. I'm collecting all day. All day. All day. So I can stay good.
It's only grim when I roll through it and collect the money, y'all. So y'all take it easy. God bless. <laughs>